Hey again everybody, thanks so much for joining me. My name is Jeremy, I'm a motion graphics designer, animator, and 3D hobbyist. This show is an unrehearsed screen recording of my workflow and a peek into my journey to develop a deeper design skill set. Here it's not so much practice makes perfect, but more practice makes progress. This is The Drill. All right, as I said once again, thanks for joining me. Today we're doing uh, what I called an alley walk. Uh, my goal for this project was to use a model from Mixamo and import them into um, Cinema 4D and just figure out if I could actually um, use the the mo uh, the mocap data, bring it in there, and walk them around. So what I'm doing right now is uh, I've imported my model. It was actually a really quick and easy pro process. If you're um, using Adobe, um, the Creative Cloud, you can uh, do this for free. So I have this model, I brought him in, and you can see already I've, I've got this tunnel built up. And uh, for this project, I, I found actually the biggest challenge. Uh, I, I accomplished what I was setting out to do uh, pretty much right off the bat. Um, followed an awesome Grayscale Gorilla tutorial uh, for importing mocap data, and that helped me. Um, from here on though, I, I didn't really, um, you can see at the beginning of this, I was uh, on my Pinterest boards uh, pulling some um, pulling uh, some reference to figure out what exactly uh, I wanted this scene to look like. And for the rest of this video uh, and the rest of this episode this week, you could really see how without a clear direction as far as um, art artistic direction or reference that you're trying to pull, you could really spend a lot of time. This, uh, in its full length, this I think was like a, a two and a half hour um, live stream. So, uh, and most of that was just playing around. I, you know, I started playing around with um, this wet street look here, uh, playing around with um, street lights. I brought um, these walls in and out. Um, for, for the overall uh, project of obsolescence, I think there's, uh, as far as I am right now, there would be a, a big element of um, a character walking down this, you know, kind of cyberpunk dystopian type future. Um, so I was playing with this here, like uh, trying to replicate that in some sort of simplistic way, because again, the, the main goal that I set out to, to do was to just have somebody walking and having them react to the floor and everything like that. So what, uh, again, what you can see here is just auditioning all these different looks. Um, there's, there wasn't really much that I was loving, I think, with, with this right here. The, the displacement on the walls was just like, too skewed. Um, so I did get a, a, some practice with uh, um, projection of the textures and trying to figure that out. And I think ultimately what happened is I kind of came to this look. I just used an octane sky material, got this like setting sun or rising sun type of look. Um, nothing, you know, in particular that I was going for with this guy and him moving, but kind of get that like, I don't know, cowboy into the setting sun thing. And just to kind of uh, increase a little interest, there's some displacement on the walls to the mesh itself and a dramatic camera move, which you see there. And then once I brought it into After Effects, it was uh, just a pretty standard, um, uh, pretty standard compositing with um, just some curves adjustments um, optics compensation uh, you can see the vignette there um, and then bringing in a, a new texture to lay on top and what I'm actually doing there is doing hold keyframes on the position and then doing a loop out uh, of the four keyframes so my texture kind of jumps around in the same place and gives you a, a pretty unique looking noise and then there you go there's the final render Here you can see it looping a couple times Nothing special. I think my lighting with these alleyways is like way too dark. You can see I'm losing a lot of information there. Um, again, though, set out to I, I set maybe uh, too low of a goal this week um, of just getting the Mixamo and the mocap data into the project and then interacting with it there. And you know, this is a good example of uh, why you plan a little bit more than and uh, what you think you can accomplish because at this stage it was just farting around with everything and I just came out with this render that I'm not overly proud of but you know I'm, I'm happy uh, that I have a learning experience from it so that is this week's episode uh, I was a short one uh, mostly because you know I don't think I'm contributing much to the uh, you know the world with this one it's a uh, pretty 
derivative in a lot of ways, but whatever. You kind of live and learn, and uh, and that's that. So, again, this is this week's episode. Thanks so much for watching. You know how YouTube works. Like, share, subscribe, and comment down below. You can follow me on Instagram and watch a live stream on Twitch. That's uh, twitch.tv slash jrmy underscore wlkr instagram is jrmy underscore wlkr visit my website for updates or shoot me an email at jeremy at jeremywalker.com thanks again so much for watching and i can't wait to see you all next week on the drill